North opens a spade, and you have the south hand. You don't have this. Here we got it. We got it. We're hiding. Yes. Here we go. You have six hearts, but you also only have what six points. Therefore, what do you start with? One no. Are we right here? Just. Okay. We're on hand A. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Partner opened a spade and we did a four C no trump and now partner B bids two diamonds. Jim, do you have these? No. What do we do? Two hearts. Okay. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Um, my heart suit is good enough. I would probably bid two hearts. It is also not wrong with that week a hand bid two spades. At least you know you've got seven. But I know when I'm in two hearts, I'm going to hope that partner has a couple. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'm an optimist, and it doesn't always pan out. So I don't think it's wrong to bid two spades. I personally would probably bid two hearts. If you bid two spades, are you not saying you have three? What? If you bid two spades oh. in that situation, are you not saying you have three? No, not, a, not a, after one no trump forcing. Oh, sorry, I missed the first Yes. Year. If I have three, I raise immediately. Okay. Now, in, in people who play constructive raises, and they require eight or nine points to bid one spade, two spades, they might have three, you know. I think it's pretty clear if you don't play constructive races. Yeah, I'm going to need to lose that. Lose constructive? Okay, lose it. So, how many of you want to bid two hearts with that hand? It just looks right. There's a lot of yeah. those But two is it wrong. It's not wrong. And I'll tell you what, if I didn't have a queen, ten, nine, seven, I mean, if my hearts were worse, like if they were queen, seven, I'm bidding two spades. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna treat that like a five-card suit when it's really lousy. Okay. This one just—I don't know. Maybe it's that ten that just looks so bulky, but um, it looks like a pretty good suit to me. What about hand B? The same auction. Okay. Uh, one spade. You bid a no trump. You still have six points. Now, what do you bid? Two spades. It's, it's, there's no choice. You would never trot out one of those four-card suits. You would never pass your partner in, in two diamonds. But that forcing one no is telling your partner you don't have three. Mm -hmm. Partners should never get excited when it goes one spade, one no trump, two diamonds, two spades. That's about as as bust an option as I can give. Uh, it is not encouraging in any way to partner. Okay, Part, it is not forward going and partner should have a monster. And he doesn't because he only said two diamonds. If he had a big hand, he would jump shift or bid to no trump or something, right? Partner is definitely expected to pass. Oh. Okay, so in the next one, I have 10 points. 11. 11. I have 11? Yeah. Oh. Here's one I didn't tell you about. Let's talk about limit raises. Um, a limit raise of a major is most people play 10 to 12 points. And if you play one no trump forcing, you can differentiate between a three card limit raise and a four card limit raise. And I find this a very useful tool for one no trump forcing. So a partner bids a spade, and I have that hand. I bid one no trump forcing. And he says two blueberries. And I say three spades. That is called a delayed limit raise, okay. which promises 
three trumps. One spade, three spades is four trumps. And one, one spade, one no trump, two anything, three spades. Now, if partner takes any action to say he's got better than uh, a minimum hand, uh, I just put four. I mean, I have 11. That's definitely uh, an invitational hand. Take, take one of those spades away, but the same points, what would you bid? Oh, two okay, if I have 11 points and two spades, and it goes one spade, one no trump forcing, and he says two clubs, now what do I do? Two spades. Two no trump. Two no trump. You got, you guessed it right. Just let them guess wrong, and when I don't say yeah, well then you can try something no. else. <laughs> That's kind of like Jeopardy. <laughs> Okay, we have to differentiate when we bid the two spades between hand one and and two and three. I mean A, B, and C. C is eleven points. We don't bid it the same as we bid hand B. Okay. Okay. So we can't jump him without three. So we and we don't have a a, a suit to bid. Um, so we bid two no trump. Now, if partner happens to rebid two hearts instead of two diamonds, our bid's very easy. Now we say three, three hearts. hearts. Three hearts. So we invite, after a one no trump forcing bid, by giving a delayed limit raise with three trump, by rebidding no trump to show 11 to 12 points and which I mean that's exact same range you play over one club to no trump. It's the same point count. Um, and uh, if he bids a second suit we like or our hand gets better when he bids it, we give him a raise instead of passing. So we can tell partner we like his second suit better by either passing or raising. But remember, with two of partners major, we do not pass him in a minor. Now, um, let's look at hand number D. I have 11 points. I have two spades. So it goes one no trump, I mean one, one spade, one no trump. He's going to bid two hearts now, isn't he? Whose hand is this? this is oh, I'm sorry, this that's my hand. He's okay. bid two diamonds, I'm sorry. Right. He bid two diamonds. Okay, okay. okay. keep me on, keep me on. Go to no trump? Okay. I'm going to go to two no trump. Wait a minute, D is? D is also two no trump. Unless he bids two bucks. Okay, what did no trump do? He opened a spade. Three, I bid no trump. He rebid two diamonds. And I'm going to bid two no trump. This was two If uh, you get take one thing out of this class tonight, two no trump is never, I don't like your suits, partner. Two no trump is always forward going. Don't bid to no trump if you don't want to hear from your partner again. Okay? It is never, I don't like your suits. It's forward going. It's invitational. It's not a shutout. Um, if he bids hearts, of course we would raise his hearts. And we wouldn't bid four, but we certainly would bid three. Okay. Look at E. Ugh. Now, he opens a spade, we bid a forcing no trump, and he rebids two diamonds. Can I pass? I would. Can you? I would, and here's why. Does he have four hearts? No. Does he have six spades? No. 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 Chances are he's, he's bidding a three or four card diamond suit. I'm not taking him back to spades with one. Mm -hmm. 
I'm passing the, the two diamonds. On D is the reason we didn't get two hearts because we don't have five. That's right. Okay. It promises five yeah. if you do a, a no trump forcing and then bid hearts. It promises five. Yeah. Say that again? Yeah. On hand number D, we had to bid two no trump. We could not bid two hearts because we only have four. Yeah, he had bid two diamonds. On yes. Let, on let's D, go back to D. Let's go back to D a second. What if we had a fifth heart? Then you bid it. Then you bid it. And I have 11 points and five hearts? Yeah. How do I show 11 points and five hearts? You could three. Just jump. You go to three. To three. three. I bid three, three hearts. Mm -hmm. Or you could have just instead of the one up. Oh, no, no, I could have. I don't have no points. It's two over one. It's yeah. two over one. That's what we used to do. It is exactly the hand that you would go once by two hearts. Yeah. Not but, the one no in between. Yes. Okay. Because the one no trump allows us then to differentiate between the six, seven, eight, maybe even nine, and the 10, 11, and 12 point hands. The minimum or the invitational. Okay. So, um, board, I mean, number F. Uh, he bids two diamonds on the rebid. One spade, one no, two diamonds. I would bid three diamonds with that. I know I only have nine points. But he's got a five card major. He's so got a five a second, card major. And this would be a second suit for him. And be a second suit. And sometimes he'll he'll trot out three no. Yeah. That would be my hope. We'll yes. When you bid that, you're not thinking you're going to play five diamonds. It's not a great, it's not a great bid. I don't think it would be wrong to pass two diamonds. Um, I would not take him back to spades if he bid diamonds and my diamonds were that good because he's almost always going to have three and probably four. When he doesn't have six spades and he doesn't have four hearts, he's got at least five cards in the mind. Therefore, he's probably got three, at least. Okay. Um, do, you need a, do you need a little break for coffee or anything? Why don't we take a little, a little break and then we'll finish these biddings. Do you want to win the hand?